fellow Aussians. Hello, 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 fellow Aussians, and greetings, Earthlings. Thank you for being here. Thank you for click, 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 clicking on this video. Thank you for your time. I'm so excited for the rest of October with you. We've still got half the month left, bestie, and so many fun videos to come for Halloween, our favorite time on this channel. And this video today is going to be the first of several wicked hauls. I would say the several over the course of the next year and a month because we're just getting part one, the first movie this November, and then part two next November. So, um, but for October this year, this will be the first of several as well. It's just gonna be so much fun together. In this video, we're gonna look at the Target dolls. I still want to get my hands on one of the Walmart ones. And a, a gorgeous box lunch purse. I do want this other one that has a G on it because that's my last initial. My last name initial. I might just order it today, but I'm so excited. Ariana was on SNL last night and it was so freaking hilarious. I haven't even seen the whole show. I've just seen a few skits and I could not keep myself from watching. I didn't want to wait um, until later tonight when we, we will watch it together in full, but I just needed to see. And so far I've seen my best friend's house and the one with like family game night and the espresso cover. Peak comedy hilarious. Um, I briefly feel like I need to tell you, I had a weird spray tan experience recently, and all my patrons know the tea on that, um, but it was a little splotchy magotchy, and, um, if you, like, notice it in my cuticle area, or, like, on the palms of my hands lately, <laughs> no, you didn't, because we're supposed to be besties, I thought you were my bestie, Westie McWestie for the Resties. And it, it can't be for the resties if right here, right now, you won't stop looking at my spray tan hands. Okay, so thank you. Now, before we get into all besties on this serious note, I was 
enjoying my wedding anniversary recently. Um, October 8th marked eight years, eight years of marriage with T, and I'm so grateful. I feel like the luckiest girl in the world. We've been together 14 years total, so dated four years, engaged two. Um, I, like, I can't believe it. I am so grateful. Like, and I, I, I think next year is gonna be 15 years together. Like, we're really doing it, and or of him specifically and just all of his accomplishments um, so I wanted to show you the flowers that he got me I'm filming and posting this on a Sunday and he got me these flowers on our anniversary which was Tuesday October 8th so this is now math eight plus five is 13 so it's five days later and I waited to kind of like unbox them and put them in the jar. Beast, he wants out of the room. I've got a nice little fall ambiance video playing. This is just like some chairs. Um, wooden chairs around a campfire on a fall day. We can pretend that we're sitting on this bed together, spilling the tea, or hanging out in this little fall scene, looking at our wicked goodies. But I'm just blown away. Um, look how beautiful these are. Actually, let me take them out. Out of this mason jar. Now, between the flowers and what I'm about to say about the ambiance. It's just a fact, okay? It's nothing personal. But your boyfriend and all of his friends, like... Frankly, didn't realize he had that many. Yeah, but he does. And they are all out riding around today. Mm -hmm. And they saw the sign. And, um, yeah. Yeah. There's like 25 of them. Um, let's say about two miles away at this. It's supposed to be a walking trail, like nature trails, but they've like turned it into off-road vehicle trail. So people bring their four-wheelers, their dirt bikes, their Timu motorcycles, all of it. Um, and just get wild on a Sunday as one does. Um, and I say that having a fully, fully four-wheeled my ass off, okay? grew up in East Tennessee, so, um, it's just when I'm filming, they're not supposed to, I thought you were going to text him that we were hanging out, so, I had to put the ambiance video on, because you didn't do that, okay, I can't help my air conditioning turning on, but I feel like we can, we can help your boyfriend not be so like spray painted rose gold and our rings are rose gold I'm obsessed um this one's struggling a little bit I'd say but that's okay that's really okay um and then for the most part they all like have held up really well over the past five days for me to not have even taken the plastic off, you know, which I'm about to do, but I just had to show you how gorgeous these are. The little pink flower. I'm so obsessed. And, um, we feel very, very we don't immediately need anything. I mean, like, 
small, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, um, anniversary gift wise, like I love all of the, like it's been 14, almost 15 years. I love all of the jewelry that he's gotten me. And we very much, like, we have each other's back in terms of, like, what do you want for the anniversary? Like, what can I get you? And we just tell each other and we just order it. And this year, I really just wanted time off with him. Flow I wanted beautiful flowers, a card. And I'm just grateful. <laughs> just grateful to have the love I have. And the big thing I would want to do is travel and go on a trip somewhere, like a sexy little trip with Tom, even if it's like a long weekend and in the same state or something, but honestly, you guys, it's so tough with older dogs. We have two cats. They have an automatic feeder, but I would still, and they have so many different water fountains, but I would still want somebody to come check on them and make sure they didn't get weird and like stick their head in a bag I forgot to throw away or something. And then with the dogs, and they are um, 12, almost 13. It's just so just tough with older dogs to feel not not necessarily to find anybody but to feel like I can trust them if that makes sense I've been burned a few times on apps like Rover and honestly the last time we went out of town and used one of those apps our AC went out and so it's like, if it's not them, it's me type of thing. Like, it was for a wedding of, a, of someone who was my maid of honor at my wedding. And we just rushed back from Nashville as fast as we could. But it's a very long drive. Nashville to Charlotte, I think it was like eight or so hours. Anyway, it, um, it just doesn't feel possible sometimes for me and sometimes for Tom like he does really worry and where we had the incident with Coheed falling luckily nothing um but some soreness for a few days happened and the hematoma on his ear but um just kind of the reality of where we are so um, we, I got him some new gaming headphones and he got me a new Halloween coach purse and matching wallet and I'll unbox it and share it with you guys when it comes in. But really what I wanted to talk to you guys about is in addition to taking some time to celebrate that, um, I've also been really trying to gather information and just pay attention to what's going on with the hurricanes lately because as you know I live in Charlotte, North Carolina and when it comes to both Hurricane Helene and Milton I'm fine. I'm okay. Okay, that's I'm in Charlotte. We had some power outages. We definitely have had people without power. We've had issues but nothing in my neighborhood whatsoever. I mean literally my electricity flickered for a few seconds. I'm not the concern. I did want to share with you guys, my hometown is Elizabethton, Tennessee. Elizabethton, okay? It's not town. I know that Elizabeth Town was a really popular movie when some of us were younger. And um, that's in Kentucky, which is probably really cool and great. Um, but not as great as Elizabethton. Named after someone named Elizabeth. And... Uh, yeah, I don't know. They just said, we'll go with ten, not town. Don't worry about it. You know us. We're the, we're the ten. Don't, don't need the dubs. Um, so, Elizabethton, Tennessee is near the Tri-Cities. It's like in the very, very tip of Tennessee. Very much in a valley. I'm close, um, I'd say about 40 minute drive, honestly, up a mountainous highway to the North Carolina line. It always surprises me how off or like how soon I should say when I'm leaving town to go back to Charlotte that I see that welcome to North Carolina sign. I'm like, holy shit, I just left though. I'm still eating my pal's french fries. Um, that 
place is my home and my heart. It's where my mom is. She lives in neighboring city, Johnson City now. Um, but Elizabethan did have several houses wash away. I believe one person died in one of the houses that washed away down the river and um, flooding to the point that you couldn't get in or out of the city. Um, and again, all of my friends, my family that I checked in with are, they're okay. I mean, obviously nobody wants to lose power and have to put their food in coolers and stuff for several days. But all that to say, um, I still feel like that's, that's my town. So I do feel affected by it. And this is not to make this about me at all. This is about a fundraising that I want to do for my hometown. I do want to say also that so many surrounding cities, Asheville, Chimney Rock is completely washed away. The town just doesn't exist anymore. And, um, we're going to, we're going to get into the fun part of this video, but this is just really important and really on my heart. Um, so I do want to let you guys know that all of the revenue from my Patreon and from YouTube, including any super thanks or any type of anything, um, that you guys are so wonderful to do that had revenue specifically, which is like cents. <laughs> Thanks, YouTube. I was just talking about that with some fellow ASM artists. How much YouTube sucks my ass, but please, please don't demonetize this video for saying that. Okay, because freedom of speech, but I really, really am um, excited to tell you guys that I'm going to donate everything for the month of October, November, and December to these causes to help. And I I think I will donate to the Red Cross generally, but I do want to look into something specific in Elizabethton, Tennessee. Um, I will put more information in the description of this video, but you guys never have to worry about me. Just like when I donated to the cause in Palestine, what's going on in Gaza, and I put the links down below in that video, I shared screenshots of my donation. And I am going to be doing the same once this is all said and done. I will share with you how much we raise. I'll share each month how much is going to that. But um, it's just really important that in times like this, we don't lose hope. We don't spread misinformation. And we come together and help one another get through what is just a horrible disaster, just a horrible natural disaster that really nobody could have ever expected. I mean, I'm, when I tell you, growing up in Elizabeth, and I was told so many times, you will never have to worry about tornadoes or hurricanes or anything like that here because we're in a valley surrounded by mountains and they'll protect us from those kinds of winds and rains truly 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 um and this is a, so certainly not a, not to take away from anybody in any other states there you guys please there are so many do your research so many cities and towns that have been affected states florida okay i'm not trying to pass over all of the affected areas um it's just to have that happen and impact my hometown has really weighed on me and I've wanted to take some time to um, to look to look into how I can help so it's gonna be with money and that's what we're gonna do I um, I love you guys and I do hope that you're all okay I'm thinking of you as well if you've been impacted by the storms please let us know um, I did want to shout out one of my patrons She's an executive producer, like Beast, on the top tier. Um, and a longtime subscriber and Earthling, Alyssa. I saw your comment on Patreon that there were a lot of friends and neighbors where you live in Florida that had been affected, that your apartment is not. But please, 
you guys keep Alyssa in mind. Send her all of your good vibes. Alyssa, I love you, and I'm so glad you're okay. Anybody else, please let us know down below. Are you okay? What do you need? I can tell you as a Charlotte attorney, there is a lot going on here in terms of efforts. People at the place I work are collecting items, essentials, and their husbands are driving it up to towns that need it. So I am really, really feeling it on me that um, while there are areas closer to me physically um, that I could probably help more immediately, uh, because I-40 is is collapsed at a certain point. I don't know if you guys have seen the pictures, but it's literally the road home <laughs> for me to get to my mom is collapsed. So I would ha we would have to fly to see each other right now. Um, and I just feel more immediately um, that I, I want to do this for my hometown. So that's why I'm focusing on Elizabethan. That's where I was born and raised. That's where my dad is buried. I, um, and that's, that's my heart. That's the city that's made me who I am. So I am very, very grateful to those of you who have commented and checked in on me. And with that, um, if you have any other ideas on, um, something aside from donations, I did think about starting my own GoFundMe, but I've just been so judgmental of other influencers who start that sort of thing. I think it can, it can sometimes, um, like, uh, I'm not always certain where the money is going to go and I don't want to make anybody feel that way. And I'm also really, I don't know, for some reason intimidated by that site in the sense that I am a YouTube channel with 8,000 8, subscribers, so um, if, if there's a threshold or something, I don't know. Um, I don't know enough about that, but I'm very comfortable taking uh, the ad revenue money Patreon subscription and anything else, super thanks, etc. for YouTube straight out of my bank account donating it somewhere. And, um, I think the only benefit to a GoFundMe would be that that could be like its own entity or thing. I am also kind of like, do I take the money to my favorite businesses or do I donate it to an official organization like the Red Cross? I'm so open to your thoughts and I just want to serve my hometown and you guys, my community, well in this. And I'm excited to support them and watch my town get back on its feet because I know we will and, and everyone else affected. It will take time and um, I truly believe in us and sending all my love to everybody. It's, it's feels like it's only just the beginning of hurricane season like it needs to needs to be over because this has been a lot so uh thank you for your patience i really wanted to talk about this for a week or two now and i've had so many pre-recorded videos that i wanted to get up on either youtube or patreon so that's where i've been the last 10 days and i love you love you very much now Let's get into the Wicked Hall. I am so excited at this purse. This is a Glinda purse from Box Lunch, you guys. How cute is that? And this is our universe brand. And there's a little wand here. Are these nails not the cutest? Ignore my cuticles, they have spray tan. This purse, of course, it gives Glenda, but it also just gives Curly Curl. I kind of love that it's subtle, not, not in terms of frills or thrills, but 
it, it doesn't say Glinda the Good Witch on it, you know? There is a cute gold wicked black on the back. That is so gorgeous. So gorgeous. And ooh, ooh, ooh. these pretty tall ruffle details. The, like, do you see what I mean? Just the roses and the butterflies and the little sequins. Nothing about it screams Wicked the Musical or Wicked the Movie, excuse me. And I love that because I will wear this with everything. Now, there is um, a purse, and I don't know why this didn't dawn on me. I'm kind of stupid, but um, I was there to pick this up. I did an in-store pickup, and um, they have a pink Glinda purse that has a G on it, and it is like a plasticky material. It's like a little harder, so it did not... Like, it just did not register to me. Like, when I saw it, I was like, oh, that's giving, like, G for Glinda, okay? Like, and anyways, I just picked this up on a lunch break and had to get back to work. But when I got home, I was like, that was so cute. Why didn't I buy it? And the more I thought about it, the more I was like, my last name is freaking G. Like, it starts with a G. Hello? That is the cutest thing ever, so... I really do think I'll probably, probably order it. What's happening? Is this beast's hair stuck in my nail? That's literally horrifying. What are you talking about? Okay, well. Um, that makes sense. I think I wiped some of the nail glue with a Kleenex and I got stuck in the nail glue. I'm super cool and you should def subscribe and I most fucking certainly have my life together, so don't worry about it. Okay, so and this and the alphabet one is so cute too. This little shoulder back, are you effing essing me? with it. It's good, too. Uh, it fits so cute. Uh, we need... We need an up-close and nail and purse moment. You're not looking at my cuticles, right? Freaking knew that you would, so we're done with that now. <laughs> okay, you guys, how freaking, how freaking cute are these? Ah, oh shit, the flowers, the flowers. Fell. Oopsie. Um, you guys. By the way. Let this be the update on how the TikTok extensions I ordered are going. I thought that they would match my hair better. And I was I was so excited getting ready. My hair just is not holding a curl the way I wanted it to today. And um, I was like, oh my god, my besties. Really, we both loved the extensions and I was excited. Oh, you ruined it. No, I'm kidding. Um, but like, you can tell this is my real hair and this is the extensions and it's just not giving what it was supposed to have gave. Like, I, I feel really bad, um, for judging Jen Affleck secret wives. judging Jen Affleck's extensions showing through because like what what is happening I think they're they're cute extensions I probably just could have picked a better color and also 
when you have two strands of hair, you can't be wearing extensions. You just have to wear a whole ass wig. You have to glue down your three strands of hair and deal with it. Deal with the wig. So, this is a lesson reminder. It was a lesson learned, and now it's a reminder. But you guys are really nice. <laughs> so, I did not like the like orangish pink flower petal dress um she's so cute oh there's a cute little rose in her hair uh sings popular so cute singing glinda i like how they're both on the box um and then we've got this one doesn't sing and i need a singing one but she's in her like I'm a witch now bitch outfit and I'm obsessed so I do want to go to Walmart and get the um she's in like a bluish pink dress but how cute is she I'm gonna start a new clip so I remember to edit it for you guys. And we will press the button, okay? Are we ready? Are you ready? Little ways to flirt and flounce. I'll teach you what shoes to wear. I'm so excited. We, we have to try it again. Okay. And I think that's the only one. Yeah, I think that's the only song she sings. Or the only um, snippet. I was kind of hoping it would say multiple different things, but it's so cute. Let me know down below if you've ever seen the play version of Wicked. I'm really excited to see the movie version. I, um, I saw it on Broadway in New York with a friend. I think when Tom and I were still engaged. So, and Tom has seen it on Broadway in London. So, when he was in high school. So, I'm just it says, kind-hearted, privileged Glinda might be Shiz University's most popular student, but an unlikely friendship helps her realize the power of her goodness. I'm interested to see if they'll touch on a little bit more than the musical does. Um, the blame that I think lies with Glinda she does, she definitely has a hand in what happens to Elphaba. So, I'm really interested to see how they do all that. What do you guys think? Should I keep these dolls in their boxes? I kind of think I will for these. Um, but I do really want to play with it. I don't know. Let me know what you think, what you would do. This one, I like, oh, I got a little bit of a flower water on this. I'm so sorry. The Alphaba is gorgeous. And I do think they made the Alphaba one look a little bit more like Cynthia than they made the Glenda one look like Ari. It, do it definitely looks like her. I just think, I think what it is, is her nose is smaller than that. Like, that looks kind of like Ari. Like, for sure, but it's something, it's, I think it's the nose is too big. I don't know, but it's gorgeous, gorgeous. I love the purple with the 
Ella is this bat? I can't tell, but I don't think so. No, I think it's just like a lacy vibe. But it's just the coolest ever. It's like squiggles and squirrels. Almost sort of like a snake from Reputation era vibe. Gorgeous. She has freckles that are so cute. So cute. And I saw an interview where they did, or they, it was just like a marketing thing maybe, but they uh, were looking at each of their dolls and Cynthia said she loved that they captured her baby hairs too. I love this witch hat and I'm so glad it's hard instead of like a fabric because it'll hold its shape. Oh, it's so gorgeous. And this one says Elphaba, a defiant social outcast with untapped magic. Elphaba enrolls at Shiz University and discovers the potential of her true power. Somewhere it said it. It kind of made me think, wait, this one will be a little bit different maybe. It definitely looks thicker than the original. I'm just trying to figure out if this one is, it's literally original Wicked book, but with the movie poster as the cover, which is beautiful so thank you I want it I'm keeping it but I thought I saw or read somewhere where it says that this was um slightly changed adapted I don't know like the way to put it but the front says wicked everyone deserves the chance to fly and they both are just slaying. Look how cute. Now a major motion picture. A novel by Gregory McGuire. Okay, let's see what the back says. Oh, it says over 6 million copies sold, so it's gotta be the original. Um, okay. This says Years before Dorothy and her dog had crash landed, another little girl makes her presence known in Oz. This girl, Elphaba, is born with emerald green skin. No easy burden in a land as mean and poor as Oz, where superstition and magic are not strong enough to explain or overcome the natural disasters of blood and famine. Still, Elphaba is smart, and not long after entering Shiz University, she becomes a member of a charmed circle of Oz's most promising young citizens. But Elphaba's Oz is no utopia. The wizard's secret police are everywhere. Animals, those creatures with voices, souls, and minds, are threatened with exile. Young Elphaba, green and wild and misunderstood, is determined to protect the animals, even if it means combating the mysterious wizard, even if it means risking her single chance at romance. Even ever wiser in guilt and sorrow, she can find herself grateful when the world declares her, declares her a witch, and she can even make herself glad for that young girl from Kansas. Ooh, I'm so excited. Elfie, 
Get in this cab, you don't be a fool, Glenda cried. The driver was adjusting the reins and yelling at Elphaba to saw it off. You'll be all right, Elphaba said. Now you're a seasoned traveler. This is just the return leg of a voyage you already know. She put her face against Glinda's and kissed her. Hold out, if you can, she murmured and kissed her again. Hold out, my sweet. The driver clucked the reins and pitched a cry to leave. Glinda craned her head to see Alphabet drift back into the crowds. For all her singularity of complexion, it was astounding how quickly she became camouflaged in the ragamuffin variety of street life in the Emerald City. Or maybe it was foolish tears blurring Glinda's vision. Alphabet hadn't cried, of course. Her head had turned away quickly as she stepped down, not to hide her tears, but to soften the fact of their absence. But the sting to Glinda was real. I'm so excited to reread this. I actually don't even know if I ever finished it the first time, to be perfectly honest, so it's gonna be very good. Now, am I insane? Duh. Look at the back. Ah, it's giving a little bit Beauty and the Beast, and I'm here for it in every single way. But I did get the official coloring book as well. See how much more this looks like Ariana Grande somehow. I don't know. I don't know why they've done, done things to her nose. I don't care if she's done things to her nose. It's her nose. But y'all, y'all can't do this. You can't do that to somebody, okay? Oh, I'm so excited. Let's just flip through really Ooh, welcome to Oz, the little flying monkeys. Oh my gosh, Gorge. <gasps> You're green. Ooh, look at that bear. I wonder if that's Alphaba being born with green skin. That's like inside she's university. So cute. That one's so detailed. So cool. These are really detailed. There's Alphabet's sister. And I'm guessing Glinda's shoe. Shut the fuck up. There's Spongebob. <laughs> Gorgeous. Oh my gosh, the professor. This is their bedroom that they share. Wow, I'm really excited for this. Why do they keep putting Spongebob?
Yeah, we're gonna look at the whole bag. Oh. The Emerald City. Oh no. It's getting serious. Oh, I love that. Glinda's wand and Elfie's broomstick. Oh. reusable bag. It was a dollar at Target. My name is Lewis. Okay, cultural icon. The last two items for now, you guys. And I say for now because I did order the entire Wicked REM Beauty makeup set, makeup collection. The entire set. So, whenever that comes in the mail, should be sometime this week, we will have another Wicked haul. And then, if I can finally get my hands on the other purse I mentioned, there's a, I think a friendship necklace at Hot Topic. I went today and they didn't have it. So, just a couple other things that I want to grab eventually. And this is technically not, like, Wicked. The movie musical. It's Sam's Club, but I just thought, oh, I'm wearing that. I'm wearing that. Probably to the movie premiere because it's so good. It's a uh, very soft, sort of like heathered cream sweater. Very, very soft. Like faux cashmere vibes. I think it was like 19 bucks. And it says, good witch in gold. Good witch in gold. So, I'm very excited to wear this. Probably to the movie pre premiere. I hope it'll be cold enough by then, but movie theaters are usually cold. Holy shit, I saw, I think it was AMC, or if not Regal, the two main theaters that do that. They're coming out with an Elfie and Glinda tumbler, and they're like on the lid in the. Oh my god. Oh my god, I need and it. These, you guys, these are not wicked. Um, but these I wanted to try in honor of Ariana. Oh, the Jennifer Coolidge um, SNL skit I saw as well. I've already watched that one too, and it was so good. I watched it three times in a row. I love Dana Garvey. Love, 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 love. So, in this skit, they were paying homage to Jennifer Coolidge, and I guess she did. I know she did the elf pillow plump collection or something, but I guess she did a Maybelline commercial, or they were just making fun of how she would do a Maybelline commercial, and they kept applying this product. When I say this product, I'm just a girl, okay? I don't, it's, I'm 90% sure after pausing the video for the five minutes I was willing to spend, like, zooming in and studying it in my car, that this is what they were using. Which they both had a ton of gloss on, and this is Super Stay Matte Ink, so I don't even really know about that. But, uh, it's definitely a pretty color. 
definitely a pretty color. Ooh, that's nice actually. And it tastes like cake. They just kept applying it over and over. I got two different colors. This one is Savant. 155 and the one I just put on is oh it's trying is ringleader 175 so oh I like that very pretty Yeah, their lips were so glossy. If you watch the skit, A, let me know based on the packaging. The lid specifically is what I looked at. And the applicator, it does look like what they were using, right? And if not, let me know down below what you think it is. Um, <laughs> but this is the only Maybelline lip product with this packaging that's out right now, so, um, but yeah, how were they, how were they making theirs look glossy, I guess they just had that much gloss on, I don't know, but, I'm gonna put a little bit of this ColourPop Ultra Glossy in it. Dried. But let me know, bestie. Are you excited for Wicked? I really want to go see it in theaters. Get um those cups. And let me know how you're doing down below. I really appreciate you watching till the end. If you watch till the end, then you've got the tea about the REM Beauty Collection that we're gonna unbox together. If I don't like any of it, I will be giving it away on Patreon, so get excited for that. But we do do a monthly giveaway over there, regardless, at a certain tier, so I love you very much. Let me know. I want to know how you're doing. Uh, it's halfway through October. What's happening? What's happening? And until next time, and in case I don't, in case I don't see you. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good afternoon. What the fuck? Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. And good night. Good night. Good night. Love you. Good night.